The final race of the weekend is the Iroquois Chase. It's a three mile, two furlong grade one. And at the top, we've got Crackled for Alex Cherry, Q Card, David Hooney, Master of Shadows, Joshua Sutherland, Obsidian Shard, Leon Van Rensburg, Orlando Template, Vinnie Gerard, Sir Martin Lidham, Thistledown De Winder for uh, Padre Hogan, Bronwyn Killing for David Robertson. Catherine the Great, Paul Rhodes, Clara Belgrave, Clitterbuck, Dawn of the New Age, Joshua Sutherland, Finding Alice Martin Needham, Found Her Voice, Leon Van Rinsburg, Lint, Darren Thompson, Magical Times, David Hooley, Molly Awesome, Alex Cherry, Ozark, Daisy, Vinnie Gerard, and What No Son, Craig Beckwith. Uh, quite a few back from last year, it was an early season Gold Cup form points, they're already racing. And Orlando Template, if the Green Jacket is the first to show with Crackled. As they get to the first of 24 fences that they've got to take, and they've all got safely over the first one. All safely over the second as well, with Orlando Template then clear by two or three lengths. The rest of them, all in a bit of a pack, not really all that keen to drop in or take on the lead up. It's a pretty pedestrian pace at this stage, and Orlando Template probably leading on sufferance. Leading to the third. Which they all got over nicely. Orlando template for Winnie Gerard in front. Or Molly Awesome and Clara Bell second and third. Let's take it to the fourth. Finally, Alice the Grey is the one that's widest on the track as they said next, and she made a bit of a mistake at that one. We'll jump it all that well. A leading pair, Orlando Template and Molly Orson together from Dawn of the New Age in third and Crackled in fourth. Then comes Found Her Voice and Cirque, except for that one. With Master of Shadows and Catherine the Great. Obsidian Shard here next. Then Thistledown Devinder. As they get over the next, and there's a fall of it. Found Her Voice is gone. So Found Her Voice is out as they get over the next ditch. We're all safely over that one. And all under template leads into the eighth. All safely over the eighth. Dawn of the New Age is now moving to second. Circuit is moving to third. And we're going to change of angle and see them the inside of the track, passing the winning post with two more circuits to go. And Orlando Template is the leader. Well, Cirque in second, Dora the New Age is third, Crackle is four, and Master of Shadows is five. Clara Bell's after that one, and then Catherine the Great and Bronwyn Killing, and then What No Son and Molly Awesome. And Ozark Display making a forward move as well. As they get over number nine, the back marker now is Magic Times. Lintz has also dropped towards the back as they get over number ten. template is still the leader well, a good three or four getting over the next all oh, safety over that one good jumpers these as you would expect probably some gold cup horses in this one but it's all under template who's showing the way at the moment Over number 13. Mistake at the back there by Magical Times. That one is getting quite a bit detached at this point. A mile and a half still to go. And Orlando Template is the leader. That's been throughout the rest of them a pretty tightly grouped with the exception of the back marker. Magical Times is about six lengths adrift of the rest of them. With the 14th they go and all jumping nicely again short run of the 15th which is a ditch and again they all got over that one okay with Orlando Template continuing to lead but not by as far now Master of Shadows is second Molly Awesome is third then Dora the New Age of Cirque and Lintz and then Crackled Nose Art Display and Q Card and Bronwyn Killing and What No Son as they get over the next mistakes there by finding Alice and Clara Bell uh, past the stand then for the penultimate time 
There's the winning post next time is the time it'll get. And it's Master of Shadows who's taking it off. To Molly also in second. Rando Template just dropped back on the inside into third. Lintz and Circuit close up as well. Oh, the 17th they go. And there's a full way Q guard's gone. So Q guard is out. Oh, the 18th nicely. Master of Shadows in front. Molly Awesome second. And Dawn of the New Age third. Then Lintz and then Crackle. And Clara Bell and Catherine the Great and Bronwyn killing. And then Cirque and Q Card. And Ozark Daisy. Finding Alice still going wide on the track. But Catherine the Great landed in the lead at that one. From Molly Awesome second. Magical Times is third. Then Lintz, Bronwyn killing. What no son. Master of Shadows is suddenly dropping away. Clara Bell and Dawn of the New Age and Cirque are after that one. They've only got three furlongs to go. They've got about three to take. And it's Catherine the Great and Magical Times there. Racing down towards this third last fence. With a lead of three lengths between them from Bronwyn killing in third. Then comes Obsidian Shard. What no son? Clara Bell over the third last. There you go. And Magical Times was better on it. And Magical Times gets over the second last with a two length lead over Catherine the Great. Bronwyn calls up an Orlando template's gone up the back. But it's Magical Times who's in the lead. Magical Times then in front. From Catherine the Great in second, gap of three or four lengths, then back to Bronwyn killing over the final fence, there you go, and Magical Times landing in the lead. Catherine the Great's trying to close, but it's Magical Times who's clearing front. David Hewley's had a brilliant week and he's going to end it with another winner by the looks of it. And Magical Times takes it, Magical Times the winner. Catherine the Great second, then Bronwyn killing and Bronwyn the edge, and then Lintz and Obsidian Shard. And Ozark Daisy was the last one to finish. David Hooley's had a hat full of winners this week. And he ends the way he starts. We're taking the final race of the week. With Magical Times, Catherine the Great second for Paul Rhodes, Bronwyn killing for David Robertson was third. Obsidian Shard for Leon Van Resberg was fourth. And Lintz for Darren Thompson was fifth. So that's the end of your first week then of the new season. And we'll be back next season. Next next season, we'll be back next week with another three days racing. <laughs>